Yeah, it's interesting. So some of the very large bids that we used to do, we used to be able to have the ability um, as salespeople to share what we've earned. Um, and in fact... Oh, like when you give a bit of your bonus, that yeah. sort of a thing? Right. Yeah. Uh, and I specifically, as a person, done that. Mm -hmm. um, I've gone out and I've gone, right, th I don't believe this model is right. And people think you're mad, don't they? Let's give away what you earn. But in the end, you can't ever create the right working environment if you don't understand that you know someone else's ability or, or the stuff they add is just as important to how you've achieved. And I've actually shared mine. So yeah. I've never managed to get a whole organisation to shift its sales plan because their organisations, that's not how they think it works. Yeah. And yet all of the um, research we were discussing at lunchtime, yeah. especially, um, and it comes out of things that sales like to think they want to emulate, which are sports teams. The higher disparity within a sports team of pay, say you've got two superstars and they get paid four times as much as anyone else, yeah. even though if you've got not got defence in some sports, say netball, say um, soccer, actually means that if those people aren't there doing that defence, you couldn't win anyway, but those people who score goals get more money. Yeah. Yet, the reason it doesn't work is you could imagine a situation where you're on the sports team, I have the opportunity to score a goal, there's goal scoring, goal scoring bonuses, um, and yet I'm not as good as Jane over here. Now, I'm coming up to goal, what do I do? I'll earn more money if I score that goal, but I know we're more likely to win if Jane scores. I give the ball to Jane, she's got a better skill level at me at doing that. Um, if we're both paid the same, I will give it to Jane, yeah. because then the team wins. And it's about that generation of the team ability to win.